MTN's Keel Smith shows us the first annual Montana Science and Engineering Festival and why it keeps happening and why it will keep happening each year. I've learned that there's telescopes that can look directly onto the sun. It's awesome. I looked through one. Ruby West is one of hundreds of people at the first Montana Science and Engineering Festival. The Montana Space Grant Consortium spearheaded the event and is a big reason why the festival is trying to set a new record for the world's largest astronomy lesson. In order to beat the world record, they need 527 people at this astronomy class. And as you can see, there's already a pretty good crowd. So let's zoom out some more. Unfortunately, the crowd wasn't big enough. But this year's professor is confident it will happen. I know we can break that record. We either did it today or if we didn't, we'll do it next year. Organizers say they plan to put the festival on every year to help science and engineering graduates network. Anything that in any way is considered science, uh, we wanted to have here so there can be more collaboration and then also more connection with the local companies. The festival is already helping the MSU Lunabotics team raise money for a national competition in May. But for one member, that's not the best part. It's just been great having kids come over so interested in all of this lunar stuff and just being able to help them answer any questions that they have and just seeing their enthusiasm. It's also great for kids dreaming of a career in science. I'm planning to be a scientist or a mathematician or an astronaut when I grow up. In Bozeman, Keel Smith, MTN News.